Hey guys, a uh, quick video on how to use the routes tool. Pretty useful stuff. I'm going to skip over resection, which is this tool here, because I've tried to use it and I have no idea what it is trying to accomplish. Uh, so I'm just not going to worry about it. But yeah, routes tool. Make a new route, click here. You decide what kind of route it is. If you're driving, you're walking, you're flying, whatever, I'll be driving. And you can either do manual entry, which is what I'm going to show you, or you can try to do an automatic entry. Uh, I can't get this to work unless you download the VNS plugin, which is the vehicle navigation system. If you download this and you have internet connection, ATAC will sometimes, if you're lucky, automatically make a route for you. I'll cover that in a different video. Today we're going to do manual entry. And effectively I'm going to try to make a route from my position here to this blue dot I put down there. So I think how it works is if you tap the screen once, it just drops a point. And then if you drop a like a long press, it makes that into a checkpoint. And checkpoints are good because you can control what happens at that checkpoint. Uh, I'll show you what I mean in a little bit. But I'm just gonna build this route. We're gonna take this road. Say this spot, here's a checkpoint. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Here's a checkpoint. Here's a checkpoint, and then that's where we're gonna end. Okay. If you messed up at all, you can click undo, and it will backtrack a segment that you made. Or if you just wanna draw, you can draw instead of dropping points. But say that's the route, click end, and we can change the, white, the route name. I call it RT white. Cool, and then for settings, just be aware there's a bunch of different settings you can mess with here. But at each of these checkpoints, you're able to have it tell you to do something. So like at checkpoint one, I want to turn left. So checkpoint one, left. Now when I get there, my phone will tell me to turn left. At checkpoint two, it's really, you're still going straight. So keep going straight, I suppose. Stay straight. Checkpoint three, I'm turning right. At checkpoint four, I'm turning left. And video, stop the car. Cool. If you guys want, you can click on this guy here. It will show you the elevation you pass through throughout the trip. Sort of useful. It will also show you on the path where it is. So you can get a good estimate of what type of terrain you're going over. You can see the view shed. And if I go back to my route tool now, we have a route here. I can turn it on or off. I can send it to guys. I can edit it, I can delete it, whatever. Um, if I click on this guy here, this now shows me, it's like a Google Maps kind of Offroots. style um, interface for where I should go. Now again, this isn't my actual GPS location, so this isn't going to update, but as my blue triangle will move across the map, this will tell me what to do next and when to do it, and tell me my distances and my speed. To exit it, I'm going to click here. And yeah, that is the manual entry for the route tool.